Hey yo, what's up guys, my name is Sapi. On today's video, we're gonna try to do the best optimization that you can do on your PC if you want to have low GPU usage, more FPS, and less drop of FPS. So if you're interested in all of that, please watch this video. Once I say that, let's start with the video. Don't forget that you can support me as creator using my code SLAPPY in the Fortnite adding shop. Also, you will participate if you use my code in a giveaway of 1000 V-Bucks card. So if you want to participate, use code SLAPPY and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, but before we continue, you need to know something really important. If you want to do all what I'm gonna do on this video, please make a restore point. I have a lot of people commenting on my videos that they don't make a restore point and and sometimes the PC doesn't work really well with the stuff that I do. That's why I said always make a restore point because all the PCs are different. So if my PC works perfectly with this optimization, if you want to do this video, it's up to you. I'm not forcing no one to do this. And if you want to do it, please make a restore point. Link of how to make a restore point will be on the description. So once I say that, let's continue with the video. Okay. First of all, if you want to optimize your Fortnite, as you can see, I'm currently using the X11. You maybe don't realize, but the pixels are way too better. If I go to settings, you will see that I'm currently using the X11. You maybe wonder why should I use the X11 if performance mode is better. Okay, performance mode still use the X11 like a rendering mode. Performance mode, the only thing that it does is reduce the quality of a lot of stuff to improve the FPS. But the advanced graphics of the X11 is still on performance mode so if you want to have really good optimization on performance mode you need to have the advanced graphic like me as you can see i have all on off what you need to have activated is allowed the multi-thread rendering and the video low latency on boost you need to make sure that you have on boost because if you don't you're able to have the fps unlimited without drop of fps so please have one on boost because it can help you with the latency of your system Okay, latency flash, please don't have activated. Marcus, don't have activated. Use GPU crash debugging, don't have activated, please. The V-Sync and motion blur, don't have activated. It only gonna reduce your performance, so please don't have activated. Remember that some settings are only available to NVIDIA users. If you are not NVIDIA users, apologize me. But most of my subscribers are more for NVIDIA, so please apologize me if some settings doesn't show up to you. So once you put all the advanced graphics settings that I show you right now, you need to switch the rendering mode to performance mode. Once you finish with Fortnite, you can close the game. So you will have the link of my website in the description. You need to go to the last post, as you can see it's best optimization. And the post was created February 10th of 2022. You need to make sure that this is the post that we're gonna use. And if you don't find it, you can type over here, best optimization. As you can see, we have two best optimization. You need to go to the most recently, which is February 10th. Once you get into the post, you need to scroll down and click on the dollar button. Now we're here, what you need to do is click on the download button again and you will have the file. Okay, once you download, you're gonna have this WinRAR file. The name is optimized to boost FPS and it doesn't have password. As you can see over here, we have four folders. CPU optimization, Fortnite optimization, input delay optimization and RAW optimization. First of all, you need to go to input delay optimization and you need to activate all of them. But you need to do this only one time. If you already do it, just escape this part. But on my case, if you are new watching my videos, please do this because it can reduce your input delay a lot. So if you want to activate it, you need to double click on it. Yes, yes, and okay. You need to do the same for all the files. Okay, once you finish, you need to come back to the optimize to boost FPS. And as you can see, we finished the input delay part. Now we're going to CPU optimization. You need to double click on part control setup. Click on yes. Okay, now you need to install. I'm gonna install real quick. Okay, once you install, we're gonna have this part control frequency. It's really simple to use. Please make sure you have the same settings as me. First of all, you need to go to highest performance on this section and put the Bitsum's highest performance. Now over here, you need to have disable all these things. Make sure you have disable all the frequencies and have 100%. Also, you need to activate the Bitsum dynamic boost enable. And make sure that the second option when your PC is idle, use Pison's highest performance. Don't worry for this time, it always gonna be the same performance, so only click on OK. And please, every time that you play Fortnite or something, you need to have this open. So please make sure anytime that you open Fortnite or before you open Fortnite, open Power Control so you can have the maximum performance on your CPU. Now click on Apply, then click on OK. And as you can see, if you go to Background Apps, you will have here the app 
that we're currently using. Once you finish the CPU and input delay, we're going to run optimization. Go to MC round and you need to install it. I'm gonna install it really quick. Okay, once you install, you're gonna have this MC RAM booster. Please make sure you open as administrator so you can have the best optimization possible. Okay, what you need to do right now is really simple. You need to go to system speed up, click on recommend values and click on apply. Click on okay. Now go to options, click on recommend values and click on apply and click on okay. Now, anytime that you go into Fortnite, please click on start optimize and it's gonna reduce a lot the RAM usage. Usually I use 10 gigabytes, but I don't know why that happened. But anytime that you go into Fortnite and you optimize your RAM, you're gonna have six or even four or five of RAM usage. For real, trust me, it really works. So please make sure you have the same settings as me and start the optimize anytime that you play Fortnite. For the Fortnite optimization, it's really simple. As you can see, we have three folders with high, medium, and low end. This folder has game user settings, and in my opinion, the best configuration of game user settings. With the base resolution that you can have to boost your fps on my guess i'm not gonna put any of this but on my recommendation if you want to have a lot of fps use between medium and low if you want to have a really huge difference of fps but if you are okay with your fps and you're only gonna have the good optimization you don't need to do this this can help you only boost your fps so please make sure if you want to boost your fps put any of this on my case i'm not gonna put it because i prefer 1920 by 1080 resolution so please if you want to put any of this i'm gonna show you how you can do it it's real simple just double click on it copy the game user settings press window key plus r and you will find the run tab over here you need to type app data go to the next location which is local for a game save config and windows client and here you need to paste the file and replace into the destination once you put we're gonna continue with the optimization once we finish the optimization pack we need to go into the window settings so please make sure you go into the settings and first of all we need to go into gaming section go to gaming now go to game mode have on on the game mode now go to graphic settings over here as you can see we have graphics performance preference and we need to put fortnite or the game that you want to put you need to find the main files of your game if you want to boost the performance you need to go into the folder so fortnite we have four files you need to put the one which has more size on my case is the first one so i'm gonna double click on it once you double click on it you're gonna have this as you can see the graphic performance preference will be for fortnite but you need to click on options and as you can see we have three options let let window decide power saving and high performance you need to put the high performance and click on save once you finish this part you need to come back to windows settings now we're here you need to go to apps once you go to apps you need to go to start apps now we're here you need to disable all the apps that you don't think that you're gonna use when your pc start okay once you have all of them disactivated every time that you start your pc all the apps disactivated will not be on the background app section and now for finish this thing you need to go here into find settings and type background apps over here we have a lot of apps you need to disable all the apps that you don't think that you're gonna use okay as you can see i finished and i disabled all these apps okay once you do this you can close the window settings and now we need to finish with the last optimization of windows go to any folder that you have click right on this pc then click on properties now go to advanced system settings and over here we have the system properties this is really simple you need to click on settings and as you can see we have visual effect the visual effects could affect the performance of your pc and on my case i don't really care a lot the visual effects so i have the best settings on my opinion it's really simple if you want to have the best settings first of all you're gonna click on adjust for the best performance and you're gonna activate some animation that you need to use yes or yes shop thumbnails instead icons and a smooth edge of a screen fonts now click on apply and once you click on apply you will have some visual effects less but the performance will be better okay now on visual effects you need to click on advanced and as you can see we have the processor scheduling and the virtual memory the processor scheduling put the best performance on programs and the virtual memory you need to click on change over here you need to disable the automatically management and we need to put the most quantity of gigabytes that you can use to improve the performance of the virtual memory as you can see we have several discs on my case i'm gonna use the disc who has more space which is the disc d then you need to click on custom size over here you need to put the quantity of gigabytes that you want to add into the virtual memory 
okay so in this case we're gonna use 30 gigabytes and as you can see the megabytes will be 30,720 and we're gonna put in the initial size and in the maximum size now you need to click on set you need to click on apply you need to click on yes you need to click on ok apply and ok ok and as you can see to finish this optimization we're gonna restart the pc so now we're gonna restart now okay so i open fortnite and as you can see the cpu and gpu usage are low the ram usage are really low i'm gonna show you now when i'm playing i'm going straight to battle rail i'm not gonna waste time i'm just gonna show you one match just to show out the fps and the ram and cpu usage okay right now we're landing and as you can see i'm having 200 fps which is pretty good because we're looking at the whole map and usually we have really bad fps do a lot i'm just want to see how much fps we can get 300 fps this is so crazy low. And we only using six gigabyte of RAM. Remember that if you have this issue with the trees, you can watch my video how to fix it. 